Hello everyone, I'm Jay Bird and you're watching SD Trader. In today's video, we are going to discuss how to find support and resistance. What are the tools that we can use to identify support, resistance, where we can enter. I will take this simple chart to explain you in a more simple language. If you're going to see the definition, the definition it says that the support is the price level where the downtrend can be expected to pause. That means the people who start to buy that means it can be here can be here can be here as well so these are the on or the supports also so how to find that we will see in this video and the resistance what is the resistance the resistance is that the price will start to uh, fall or else start to consolidate before it move to the further up <coughs> so in this chart if you can see over here this is called the resistance but is there any other way or the tools that we can use yes there is there are three ways that you can find the support and resistance the first is ascending descending trend line horizontal line fibonacci and the base of the candle also because sometimes you have seen that one of the candle which have the higher volume and if that candle is firm near to the support or resistance or at the high that can be a our future support or resistance that we will be covering in our next video so friends before we move forward i would like to request you if you are new in this channel please subscribe and if you like this video please share among with your friends so first today in this video we are going to use the trend line so this is the chart we are going to use for the simple explanation first i will take this extended line here you need to find these two points so the first my two points are here so i'll click over here how to find that whichever the trend line which i deploy in this chart is the correct the simple way is that whenever you find the two points and if you draw the trend line and the third point will automatically come and take as a support that means the whatever the things what you plot plot on your chart is the correct one so here this is the first second and the third point is the correct one how you can enter in this trade so when the price is falling down and take support here so your first condition is done that yes this is the act as a support now look for the swing high so when it took support here this is the swing high for you 390 so when they cross the price 390 you can enter with the stop loss of the 375 what will be your first target okay so here is the good thing that we have here higher high so before it falling down we have this high so this is our first target and now i want to look for the second target because this one i don't know what is the next target because this is already been considered as my first target so what i can do i'll just go to the further my previous start and see is there any previous high yes so i'll take this horizontal line and put on top of here so as you can see is the previous my high also act as a here resistance so this will be my second target so if you plot over here okay this is how it looks like right so uh, one is to five ratio and that easily you can get it but i'm not saying that every time you get it one is to five but the ideal is that you need to find which is the nearest resistance that will be act as your first target if there will be here any other high also then i can consider this is my second target but i don't have any previous high so i will just go to the previous history and find this the target for me to identify my second target now i want to highlight another thing also that when the price again falling down it takes support here but that before take is consolidation so here you can see one thing take this horizontal line and put over here just between okay and then another thing what you can see here this trend line will act whenever the price is comes to near this trend line as a support and resistance same as your resistance here also act resistance this is a fake breakout and then fall back again to this trend line again consolidation and then went up now i want to see that whichever the trend line i draw over here will it help me to work on the future also let's see before that we just see that here is there any other the target or i can mark here okay so we'll we see here this is the w pattern this is the fall also and this is a support we need to see that whichever the place we have a more your price is touched to the trend line we can draw so i can see here somewhere at this point we have more the price is touched here All right so now we go in the future All right okay so here you can see the when the price is falling 
take support why because last time also it took support so whenever the first time the price will come it will act as your support when again reject it will fall down to your next support here and then after this your last time what support now it will act as your resistance so whenever the your support breakdown will act in future as a resistance so now here resistance similar here this is your trend line last time was support breakdown now it will act as your resistance so here also you can see our support breakdown now resistance resistance and resistance so now support this one again breakdown this will act as a resistance until its breakout so breakout my next resistance here again is breakdown so this is how you can use the simple trend line uh, ascending descending and horizontal that will help you in the future also that you can see your price where it where it will be stop and if it's going up where you can sell your position so uh, i hope this explanation will help you for your future trading thank you friends see you on the next video take care bye bye